In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create and sell your own NFTs on OpenSea. If you're interested in diving into the world of NFTs and want to know how to list your digital art, you're in the right place. Let's jump straight into it. First things first, you need to head over to OpenSea.io. OpenSea is one of the largest NFT marketplaces out there and it's known for hosting some of the most famous and valuable NFTs. The best part is that you can create and sell NFTs without any upfront cost, which is super cool, especially if you're just getting started. But before you can do anything on OpenSea, you'll need a crypto wallet to manage your digital assets and transactions. The most common wallet people use for NFTs is MetaMask. If you don't have one yet, it's easy to set up. Just go to metamask.io, sign up with your email, and create your wallet. Once you've got your MetaMask wallet set up, you're ready to connect it to OpenSea. To get started on OpenSea, the first thing you need to do is go to their official website. When you arrive, you'll spot a Connect Wallet button on the top right corner. Click on it and you'll be taken to a page that lets you choose your preferred wallet. OpenSea supports several types of wallets, but MetaMask is one of the most popular and easiest to use. If you have MetaMask, simply select it from the list. Once you choose your wallet, you'll be asked to follow a few prompts to connect it to OpenSea. You may need to approve some permissions in your wallet, so make sure to read them carefully. If you're using a different wallet, the steps will be similar. Just follow the on-screen instructions until the wallet is successfully linked. After your wallet is connected, you'll be automatically logged in, and your profile should appear on the screen. If this is your first time on OpenSea, you may not have any items listed yet, but you're all set to explore the marketplace, browse NFTs, or even start listing your own. Once you've logged in and are ready to dive into creating, head to your profile page. At the top, you'll spot the Create button. Click it, and you'll be redirected to a page where you can upload your very first NFT. This is where the real creativity begins. After clicking on Create a new item, you'll be directed to a form with several fields to fill out. These fields are important for setting up your NFT listing. So let's get started. The first step is to upload your artwork. OpenSea supports various file formats such as JPG, PNG, GIF, MP4, and MP3. If you've already created your artwork, go ahead and upload it here. If you're in the process of creating your artwork, you can use design platforms like Canva. It's a great tool for producing visually appealing designs with ease offering various templates and easy customization options. Another option for digital artists is Pixlr, a free editing tool perfect for creating more complex artwork for your NFT. Once your artwork is uploaded, it's time to name your NFT. For example, if you're creating a series of digital art, you can name the artwork Ocean Waves number 12 to indicate it's part of a collection. Following the naming process, you'll want to add a detailed description of your artwork. This is your chance to explain the story behind your piece, what inspired it, or any other interesting details that might attract potential buyers. It's crucial to make your description clear and engaging, as it helps buyers connect with your art. Afterward, you'll need to set some essential details like pricing, you can either list your NFT for a fixed price or set it up for an auction, depending on how you prefer to sell. Once all these steps are complete, you're one step closer to showcasing your work to the world. Next up, you'll need to provide some additional details about your NFT that will help make it stand out. If you have a personal website, a social media page, or a dedicated landing page for your NFT collection, you can add the link in this section. This gives buyers a chance to explore more about you as an artist or the story behind your collection. 
However, if you don't have a link yet, that's perfectly fine. This field is optional, and you can leave it blank. This is your opportunity to give potential buyers a deeper understanding of your NFT. You can use this section to explain what inspired your artwork, how it connects to certain themes, or what makes it unique. For instance, if you're creating digital art of cityscapes, you might discuss how urban environments influence your creative process. You could also explain any personal experiences or memories that shaped the art. A compelling description can help buyers feel more connected to your work, making it more likely they'll want to own it. If your artwork is part of a larger collection, you can also mention that here. For example, if it's a series of abstract digital pieces, you could mention how each artwork in the collection explores different emotions or concepts. This way, buyers will know that by purchasing your NFT, they're not just acquiring a single item but are part of a broader artistic vision. The more thoughtful and detailed your description is, the better it will resonate with potential buyers. A well-crafted narrative can go a long way in making your NFT more desirable. So, take the time to tell your story and share what makes your piece truly special. If you're uploading your first NFT, OpenSea will automatically create a collection for you, but if you have an existing collection, you can select it here. Collections are super important because they allow buyers to browse all the NFTs in a particular series or theme. Here's where you can get creative by adding even more details about your NFT. This section lets you specify important properties that help define your artwork and make it stand out in the marketplace. You can list attributes like the color palette, the rarity of specific elements, or any distinctive features that give your NFT its unique character. These properties will appear as visual bars or labels on your items page, providing potential buyers with an at-a-glance understanding of what makes your piece special. For example, if your NFT is part of a collection featuring different animals, you might specify traits like species or background color, allowing buyers to easily compare the variations. One of the most exciting features of OpenSea is the unlockable content option. This feature allows you to add hidden, exclusive content to your NFT that is only accessible to the buyer once they've made the purchase. It's a great way to offer something extra to your buyers and add value to your NFT. For instance, you could include a special video or a message from you, the creator, explaining the inspiration behind the artwork or sharing a personal story related to the piece. This can create a deeper connection between you and the buyer, making the NFT not just a digital asset but also a memorable experience. If your artwork is part of a larger collection, you could add a preview of upcoming pieces or a teaser for future releases, which could make the buyer feel like they're part of an exclusive club. Another idea is to upload a behind-the-scenes photo or a digital sketch showing the creative process. Buyers who are interested in the story behind the artwork will appreciate this level of transparency and connection. You can even share high-resolution versions of the artwork or offer access to downloadable content, such as wallpapers or 3D models. This added layer of exclusivity is a great way to make your NFT stand out in the marketplace, building excitement and rewarding those who choose to invest in your work. It's a simple but powerful way to enhance the buyer's experience and potentially increase the perceived value of your NFT. After you've filled in all the necessary details for your NFT, you'll reach the final step where you can review everything before minting. It's essential to double-check all the information you've entered to ensure everything is correct. One of the most important things to verify is your supply. The supply refers to the number of copies of the NFT you want to create. If you're looking to make a one-of-a-kind NFT, you can set the supply to just one. This means only one buyer will be able to own the NFT, 
making it unique and highly exclusive. Creating a single NFT is cost-effective since there's no gas fee associated with minting just one item. However, if you're thinking of minting a collection or multiple editions of the same artwork, there will be a gas fee involved. The gas fee is a transaction cost paid to the network for processing the minting of your NFT, and it varies depending on the blockchain you're using. For example, if you're minting on Ethereum, the gas fee can fluctuate based on network congestion. If you want to avoid these fees, some alternative blockchains like Polygon or Tezos offer lower or even zero gas fees. When creating multiple copies of your NFT, consider these fees as they can impact the overall cost of listing your work. Before confirming, also take a moment to review the image, description, unlockable content, and metadata associated with your NFT. Once you're satisfied with everything, you can proceed to mint your NFT to the blockchain, where it will be available for sale. Pensy supports several blockchains for minting NFTs, including Ethereum, Polygon, Less Gas Fees, Solana, Avalanche, and more, depending on the wallet you're using. If you're using MetaMask, you can choose between Ethereum and Polygon. I personally prefer Polygon since it has lower gas fees, but Ethereum is still the most widely used blockchain for NFTs. Once you've completed your NFT creation, you'll come to a crucial option, freezing the metadata. Freezing the metadata essentially locks in all the details of your NFT, including the image, title, description, and other information. This ensures that once your NFT is live, no one can alter these details, giving you control over how the piece is presented to potential buyers. Freezing the metadata is particularly useful for preserving the integrity of your creation, as it guarantees that the NFT stays exactly as you envisioned it, without any unintended changes. To freeze the metadata, simply click the option in the NFT creation interface. Once activated, all the data related to your NFT, including its image, attributes, and description, will be locked permanently, making it immutable on the blockchain. This adds a layer of authenticity and trust for your buyers, as they know that what they're purchasing is exactly what you created, with no possibility of modification down the road. Once you've selected the sale type, set the price for your NFT. You can choose how much you want to sell it for, typically in ETH. Finally, set the duration for the listing. You can choose how long you want your NFT to be up for sale. I usually go with about a month, but that's entirely up to you. Once you're happy with everything, click Complete Listing, and your NFT will be live for sale on OpenSea. You're officially an NFT creator. Now all that's left is to check back regularly to see if someone buys your NFT. OpenSea is one of the largest NFT marketplaces, so you'll have access to a massive audience of potential buyers.